Welcome back to Cribs in a CLE. Now, we are so honored to have our next guest on the show. We are in the presence of royalty, y'all. Yes, we are. <laughs> welcome to the show, Sarah Ferguson, Duchess of York. Duchess, Duchess welcome, welcome to, to the, the show. A uh, round of applause, round of applause. Thank you so much, Josh and Maria. I love Cleveland, and I know I've been just been telling you I love it. I thought I was live then, but I really mean it. Cleveland Browns, you go. I had no idea, Josh, that you played for them for eight years. I had yes, no idea. Absolutely. I'm, I'm like, wait a minute, the Duchess has been to Cleveland? Oh I'm my goodness, to, I love it. I'm send the Duchess a jersey. And she knows about the Cleveland Browns. <laughs> absolutely. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so we're so honored to have you here now. Uh, Duchess, we have your book right here, The Most Intriguing Lady. Now mm. you're already a, a bestseller, mm. and now you've done it again. Can you tell us about it? Well, I escaped into my first novel, Her Heart for a Compass, and I thought I can do this and so at 63 years old I thought I'd get another novel out and this one yeah, Lady Mary she's redheaded resilient breaks the rules uh, she's one of my ancestors and all her um, brothers were written about but she wasn't so I took her from her grave and I made the story up about my own life really uh, sort of set in 1870 anyway Lady Mary uh, she's very proper during the day, and at night she turns into a super sleuth, Ooh. and uh, she's, she, she solves society crimes. Josh, even you would like to read it. I, I can tell you, because it's really gripping, because, of course, uh, she goes into Queenie's gangs, so it's really uh, interesting about the gang life then. I go delve into history, but it is so sort of... Super sleuth, female detectives, really wow. cool. Ooh, Duchess, this sounds yeah. like something I would want to read. Mary now, sounds like my kind of lady, Josh. Now, now, when you're writing these novels, now especially this one, do you, when you're writing it, do you have the mindset and the visualization that this is, this can be a movie? Well, right, because I hear it already. Right. Yeah. You're so funny. You're so funny because actually, the way I write it. I think movie. Mm. So as, as she crosses over the bridge of the, the eerie pea soup fog is coming in and it's dusk and on the other side of the bridge, little did she know there was a man with a machete. I don't oh, know. oh, oh now wait goodness. a minute, Duchess, the way you're, you know, how you're describing, you know, some of the, yeah, the movement the of the nuances. characters. I gotta ask you, I know you love writing, but have you ever thought about being an actress? Because Yourself. you're doing a great job. Yourself, oh, yes. No, 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 Josh and Maria, please, I think it's time for you to ring all your friends all over the world and tell them that I wish to be an actress. I, you got it on Cleveland Live today, <laughs> right now. I am putting it out there. I have decided I would like to be an actor. There you That's go. She has it. She yes, has it. she do. Now, where did you develop this love for writing? I've written 72 books. Mm. Uh, I've uh, written two history books about Queen Victoria and Albert uh, in 1986, around then, and that went on to make a movie, Young Victoria, uh, with Emily Blunt. And we won an Oscar for Best Costume, but it was based on my books, so that's pretty cool. Wow. Uh, so, so I'm looking for an Emmy with this one. Duchess, we have to pause right there. You said you've written over 72 books. Mm, an OG in the game is and what we call it. trying to get Emmys in everything. That's yeah. amazing. <laughs> I'm calling an audible. There you go. Because because I'm going to change direction of my life and I'm going to, I'm now a novelist mm. and I'm going to keep writing novels now because um, Maria you're absolutely right I've written 48 mm -hmm. children's books and other books but I've never written I've written two novels now mm. and I'm just going to pound these novels out because I love them and then act in them yes that's oh it I'm calling my an God. Audible. I love it too you you yeah. got you're on to something because you keep hitting the best sellers list so you, the viewers and the readers really love your work my resilience my creativity my complete bonkersness or you know, whatever it's called. You know, it's the it's that the joie de vie I have, the sense of joy and adventure. And my children say, Mom, you really do wear your heart all over your body, not just on your sleeve. You know, what you are what you are. I mean, I'm having fun talking to you guys. And and it's just it's just be what you are and be yourself. And I I I really love that. You know it's what? very liberating. You know what so that's just so authentic. That's I love just, it. And, and I think that's what uh what my wife was saying when she said you should probably be in front of a camera because you of your charisma, your charisma. We know you're a busy lady. We yeah. know you got your nonprofit. You got your novels. That authentic, you write. Very authentic. Yes. Duchess the actress. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. 
Oh my gosh, <laughs> can, can you tell our viewers where can they get a hold of this novel? Oh, since recently. Yes, yes, now come on viewers, you're gonna love it. Go to Amazon, it's, we're right up there on Amazon and go to independent bookstores. We love bookstores, we wanna support more, more bookstores. More bookstores, yes. Duchess is pretty much telling you you can get your hands on her book anywhere books are sold. Duchess, thank you so much for joining yes, us. Yes, thank Make you. Make sure you grab a copy of her book. When we have more Cribs and a CLE, don't you go anywhere, we'll be right back.